Okay, guys, here's where we left off. I went ahead and put books in the shelves and put a few decorations on the table like I told you guys to do. I hope you did that. So this is going to be probably a fairly quick video. We're going to build the floor here. Okay, we're going to build the floor. So let's grab a cube and let's just give it eight sides. Okay, now let's draw out a cylinder here. We'll not make it too big. Let's start small. Let's pull it up. Pull it down. And that looks okay. So let's even everything up. Let's make it 65. And 65. Okay, now we got our first little cube, or cylinder actually, so let's copy and paste it, and let's scale it out, and I'm going to move it up, so I can see both of them, okay? Now I'm going to take this polygon and this bottom polygon, let's bevel them in. And I'm going to make it about like that. Looks okay. Then I'm going to go to duplicate, bridge them, and that'll do that. So now let's go to this polygon, this bottom polygon. Let's bevel these two. Not out, but in. Not too far. <laughs> that looks okay. So now let's bridge those. And I'm going to bring this back down. Like so. Now let's take this one. Bring it back down. Like so. Now we got two. So I'm going to take this one here and thicken it up a little. bring it back down here okay now we have let's loop this and make it not so thick okay now let's go ahead and select this one command C command V R to scale let's scale it out like this and we'll not make it so thick, we'll scale it down so it'll be so thick. We'll bring it down until it touches. Okay, now we got this center ring here, so let's deselect everything. Let's go back to our basic tab and let's select the cube. And now let's go ahead in here and draw a plane out like this. To where it covers. everything like so and I'm gonna thicken it up a little I'm gonna bring it down just underneath the level there as you can see it's just underneath that and I'm gonna widen these out to where everything covers up good now let's go to our vert mode and let's select our verts and let's go ahead and adjust these a little bit like so let's do these Looks pretty good there. And don't worry, we're going to fix all this. Now let's do these. Like so. And let's get this one. Now I'm going to select in polygon mode. I'm going to select up this way. And run a loop slice in the middle, count of one, 
Then I'm going to run another one this way. Go back to vert mode. And let's finish adjusting these points. I'll grab those middle verts that we just created here. Like so. We're going to pull them out like that. Grab these. And we're going to adjust these. And there's much simpler ways to do this. I mean, you could have outlined these edges here and hit the P key and filled in that polygon and then extruded it up and just used that. I mean, there's several different ways you could have done this. Okay, now we have that filled in. So now let's go to our Layout tab. And let's go to our organic material here. And let's just look around for our water materials. And that will be under materials, not meshes. I was looking under materials. Go to organic. Under organic, there's a water. Now under here, we'll have all these cool water things. So I'm going to use a heavy ripple water. And let's go to our polygon mode. Let's select that polygon and let's drag our heavy ripple water and see what that ends up looking like. Now as you can see that turns that into a water look and it looks like we got water inside there now. So I'll be right back when this finish rendering, finishes rendering and you can check out what it looks like. Okay now we're back and as you can see we got slightly some water coming in right here it looks like and it looks like we need to, need to make it a little bit deeper so let's go in here and select our faces and let's just use the W key and bring them up so they'll be a little thicker but I don't want them that thick I don't want them overtaking the top of the geometry so I'm gonna bring them down a little not like that Now, I can go to my camera view. I want to look down at this water here. And I'm going to render this. And we'll be right back. And this will end our video. Okay, now we got about half of this rendered. As you can see, we're getting some dark, murky water with some good caustics in it. And I think it's working out really well. So, um... You all go ahead and do this, and we'll see you in the next video.